Hey everybody, how's it going? John Paul here, welcome to another video. Uh, yeah, thanks very much for watching again. Um, make sure to like, subscribe and leave a comment. So in this video today here, I'm going to be sharing with you nine areas of our lives that we need to master in order to achieve fulfillment and happiness. Okay. Um, yeah, so let's get started. So uh, just um, um, so these these things that I'm going to mention, they are so the there are areas that we need to constantly be working on in order to achieve fulfillment and happiness. And uh, these things are not guaranteed. Uh, it, like these things, they, um, like they, they need to be uh, worked on constantly. Uh, they, don't, they don't just come, on, come to us. So yeah, let's just get started here. Uh, number one is sleep. Okay, so sleep has to be a priority if we want to have a healthy, uh, yeah, healthy life. Uh, so many good things happen when we sleep, especially a lot of repair inside our body, um, like cell repair and stuff like that. Um, sleep is the number one thing that we will help our brain repair as well uh, from the damage during the day. Uh, so three things that we can do in order to have good sleep are, uh, number one is regularity. Always go to bed at the same time and wake up at the same time, even on the weekends. Um, number two would be room temperature the optimal temperature of the room would be 17 degrees and number three thing would be a, a pitch dark room we have to sleep in a com in complete darkness because um, any kind of light would would interfere in our sleep okay so number one was sleep number two would be diet okay so um the optimal diet the best diet would be the rainbow diet right uh, so if 90 percent of our food is vegetables we're doing the right thing Okay, another thing we can learn about is uh, the Mediterranean diet. Okay, consider one of the best diets around the planet. Uh, so yeah, we can learn, make sure we can learn, make sure we learn um, everything we can about the Mediterranean diet. And besides eating, it's really important not to eat, right? So uh, our body needs time off from eating. So, so we can uh, heal inside and repair itself. Uh, time not eating is time rejuvenating our bodies. Okay, number three is exercise. Um, so exercise is the, it can be considered a good drug for our, for our brains. A lot of good things happen when we exercise. Um, we should aim for at least one hour a day of exercise. Uh, and on top of that, make sure that we have an active lifestyle. Um, so four things that we can do are uh, walking, running, cycling, and lifting weights, okay? Number four, our mental health. It's really important to take care of our mental health. Uh, make sure we, we speak to family and friends about things that are stressing us out. And uh, on top of that, we can speak to a, a professional. Uh, we can hire counseling and just make sure that, you know, we're not carrying a heavy weight on our shoulders, right? It's really important to speak to people about uh, things that just uh, worry us. And uh, number five would be our emotional health. Um, really important to have people around us where we can just um, share how we feel and have like um, a safe a safe environment where we can just tell people how we feel. Um, number six would be positive relationships. There's been a study at Harvard University that's been carried out for the last 80 years, 80, 80 years, to find out what makes people happy. And the answer turns out to be positive relationships, right? So it's really important to have positive relationships in our lives. And uh, number seven is money. Okay, really important as well. We live, you know, we, li we, we live in an economical world. We need money for everything. Um, so quick tips would be, number one, don't lose money. Uh, number two, always make more than you spend, right? Um, make sure that your expenses are always below your income. And on top of that, create more income. Right? We need to be constantly using our creativity and create more income. All right, number eight would be faith and religious beliefs, right? So um, religion can be something positive if, you know, as long as it brings people comfort and it brings people support and it brings people this sense of being welcomed and accepted, right? So religion can be not only religion, but, you know, something like a belief or some sort of faith, right? Where it just creates 
a sense of well-being and belonging, right? And num number nine, the last one would be purpose, right? So after, you know, working on all these areas, um, what are we going to do about that, right? Like, wh what, is, what is the point of being here? Okay, different people have different purposes and even, you know, different stages in, in different stages of life, we have different purposes as well. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I uh, just wanted to share with you these nine areas that we need to constantly be working on in order to achieve fulfillment and happiness. Okay, all right, we're going to wrap it up here. Thanks very much for watching this video. All right, coming to you here from Lisbon, Friday evening, rush hour. Okay, so yeah, see you next time. Bye-bye.